Pete, no play possible on the final day. You'll have to uh, take a draw on this occasion. Uh, your thoughts uh, as a whole on the match? It was a really good scrap, if I'm honest. Um, you know, we played really well for the majority of the first two and a half days, really, nearly three days, got ourselves a decent lead. But credit to Worcester, they fought really hard. You know, after day two, I think we came in hoping to get quick wickets and get a, a, get a, a lead somewhere around about 100. And credit to them, they played really well, uh, sort of lower down the order. And took that 50 lead in and were dominant, trying to push it on a little bit. And then suddenly they came back, as I thought Nathan Smith bowled very well in the game all the way through on the pitch backed up by the young spinners so we lost wickets so it was set fair for a good game of cricket today so shame the weather got in the way. And like you said it's a, it's a good fight back from, from Worcestershire and how, how did you go into today in, in terms of what, what you hoped to achieve um, with, with Bamble? Yeah I think the plan was pretty clear for us we, we wanted to be positive with the bat I think uh, certainly we felt another 30 or 40 runs would put us in a really strong position we felt 250 was a very good position on, on the pitch that had become now sort of eight days old, it was spinning, a um, little bit of variation in bounce towards the end of that pitch. Um, so yeah, we, we, were, we thought another 50, 55 runs would do us, put us in a really good position. Um, and was to play positive, get there and then try and put them under pressure. Um, we knew there was weather around, actually we thought a bit, if a bit of weather came and made that a little bit more pressure on them to score at a rate, that probably would have worked in our favour. But unfortunately, we just kept getting showers all the way through the day. Yeah, like I said, it's, it's disappointing that the, the rain kept coming back, there was, there was a bit of hope at times that we would, we would get some play. Was the hope that we'd at least get enough overs in the day, uh, despite the forecast, to, to try and force a result? Yeah, I think so. I mean, credit to Steve and his team. I mean, they, did, uh, they really worked hard. It was blowing a gale out there to get the sheets on and off to try and give ourselves a chance. So, um, we, you know, we warmed up, I think it was about somewhere around about sort of quarter past ten, I think, with a view that we might start on time. And at that point, I mean, if, if people want to know what we talked about in the group, it was the excitement of a day like today. You know, you play some days of county cricket when there's nothing on it. Well, today all three results were right in there. Worcester could have won, we could have won, and a draw was still a possibility. So, uh, they're exciting days to play in, so we wanted everybody to embrace that. The first job for us was with the bat, uh, and we didn't get that chance, and neither did Worcester. They were confident as well, so it would have been a very good game of cricket, I think. And uh, you know, reflecting on the match as a whole, it's another strong first innings, uh, both with the bat and then bowling. Um, but it's about, I suppose, being able to replicate that in the second innings with the bat. Is that something perhaps that you're looking to, to improve on? Yeah, I think we're frustrated, actually. Frustrated, certainly. The Essex game was really frustrating because we got ourselves in a really dominant position. Um, in that game towards the back end of the first two innings then lost quick wickets at the end so we didn't get we got a lead but nowhere near what we wanted uh, and they came back at us and in this game we'd have been frustrated last night you know we, we, we got you know 125 on I think it was one down and suddenly lost a flurry of wickets so that's something we've got to be we've really got to be aware of um, we've got a Somerset now uh, at the end of this week coming um, which is always a good game of cricket you know they'll be massive little but so will we um, so yeah I think we've we, we need to put a whole game together. We played well in, in patches. Bowlers have bowled well in patches. This is about really putting it all together, really, and playing. You know, we play a 12 session game, a game of four day cricket, and we need to be strong in all those, certainly in this division. Uh, and that'll be the challenge when we get down to Somerset. Lots of uh, really good individual performances that uh, rightly we need to highlight. You know, Clark with another century, uh, second in two matches, and Calvin getting his uh, record first class innings and his uh, record, uh, well, his first fifer as well in first class cricket. Uh, ben Slater with the 70 as well, too, to get off the mark in terms of milestones. Um, you know, plenty to look at from that point of view. And obviously, uh, LJ's uh, 96 as well. Yeah, I mean, people played well. I think, you know, some significant partnerships in there. I think, you know, it's, it, you know we saw, I think, the Calvin had, what, had a great game, really, because the partnership with Linden towards the back end of our first innings was what really secured us a good lead. Uh, he then took an absolute world of a catch um, to get Jake Libby out, was, was an absolute screamer. Uh, and then bowled, got Pfeiffer and, and did, a t did it tough in some ways. He bowled at what was a hard end to bowl, there was a strong wind going, and then it was a bit easy the following day. Uh, so he did very well. Great to see Lyndon, well, I would say, back in his temper. Lyndon James back playing his tempo of type innings. Uh, he looks like he's back to his best in rhythm, which is really nice. Um, and, you know, it's for all the guys. Ben Slater played lovely. Um, I thought, actually, I thought Ben Duggy played well yesterday. It was a really tough innings, that, because with a spinner to the left hand, there's a lot of rough. 
uh, and he was out to a really good bit of bowling, I think, by Nathan Smith, bowling him an off cutter. So, generally, we take all the positives from it. Uh, we're also not naive. We know we're a new captain. It's, you know, it's a team that's settling and settling or whatever, like a lot of teams will be. You know, we've been together now for two games. We've got to go to Somerset and we've got to try and move that up a notch, which is something, you know, to really start to get to a position where we can win a game. And looking at Calvin in particular, he's obviously taken a lot of plaudits from this game for his performance with the bat, with the ball and in, in the field, in the slips. Um, he's really becoming quite an asset to the side, isn't he? Yeah, well, he got in last year and did a really good job. Um, good all-round player and he's moving quickly. You know, he started in T20 cricket and we've given him plenty of time, I think, as a leg spinner too to really sort of like refine his technique a little bit in the twos and it felt like the right time to expose him last year and he's, and he's built on that. I think this year he's bowling better um, and I think he'll keep getting better as he gets more exposure at first team level so he's just got to keep it simple like all the lads do you know the game we play you, you just got to keep moving yourself forward so Calvin will need to screw himself up be ready for Somerset um, but he's had an outstanding game here because he's, he contributes in so many different areas. We had a slightly unorthodox approach with two spinners in this match, with Liam Patterson White. Um, how do you think um, that affected our approach to bowling, and how, how do you think they found it working alongside each other? Well, it's a bit like us trying a different formation of football, really. We tried something a bit different, really. Uh, we played on the same pitch because it, it, it stood up really well to the game. Um, gave us a chance to play Liam Patterson White. We wanted to get back into the team at some point. You know, he's. He had a tough season last year and he started to work hard now this winter to get himself back where he needs to be and I thought he bowled really well. You know, first first spell struggled a little bit for the first two or three overs, then got into it first thing for getting the ball nicely. Um, so seeing the two bowlers, spinners bowl together, certainly on the end of I think it was day two, um, you start to see the power that can have if you get a chance to do that. Also meant Lyndon James got a chance to step up to be in the third seamer, which was a good thing to see. So generally um, yeah, it was set for a good game of cricket, really. So it, the, the pitch played pretty much as we thought it would. It deteriorated a bit as the game went on. Still a good pitch to bat on, so it wouldn't have been straightforward bowling Worcester out second innings. Um, but yeah, we move on now. We move to Worcester. A little bit different to what the members are used to at Trembridge. Normally we see the little seaming pitches and whatever, but this one was a, a more hard-working pitch for a seamer and a bit more into the spinner. On to some set on Friday, only a few, a few days in between. Do you think the players will thrive on being able to get back out there almost immediately? I think so. I mean, the seam is a little bit less work. Dylan Pennington had a lot of work, actually. I've not mentioned Dylan, but Dylan, Dylan really has been an asset of the first two games. You know, he's, he gives us something a bit different. He's got an extra little bit of pace. And I thought he, he did really well on a pitch that didn't offer him much. Uh, opened it up, used the short ball plan. Um, so he's had quite a lot of work, though we've got to keep an eye on where he's at. But generally, the seams are OK. Dane Patterson missed this game. He got a sore ankle after the first game, so I think that will settle itself down. Uh, Brett Hutton, similar, will have had a, he's had a week of a decent training and getting ready. So we'll go with a strong squad to Somerset, so we'll feel confident, I think. We're going to have to play well, uh, and we look forward to the challenge.